Hello. Today, I want to tell you a little bit about keeping a marriage young. Um, I have been married to the same man for almost 58 years. We met 58 years ago on a blind date in May, and we were married in November. And I'm going to introduce you to my husband later, and I'm going to tell you one of the things that we do to keep our marriage young and fresh. He's a wonderful man. I'm very lucky that I met him. I'm very lucky that I have had him. I still have him with me after 58 years, and you'll see when you meet him, you'll like him too. I wanted to read you a little bit from my book, which you know by now is called How Not to Act Like a Little Old Lady. I have a whole chapter in marriage on there. And I got the uh, some quotes about marriage from a wonderful website called www.seniorwomen.com, run by Tam Gray. And it has interesting articles, all sorts of interesting things on it. You might want to check it out. And I put a questionnaire on there. And a lot of the really intelligent, wonderful women who go to that site sent me their ideas on what keeps a marriage, which I won't read to you. I'll just read you this little bit. And if you want to read their quotes, you can get my book. So this is the part I wanted to read to you. After you've been married for more than 20 years, if you're lucky, your marriage is like a vivid tapestry woven with threads of all the colors of the rainbows. There's rose and yellow and white for the happy times. There's deep blue and dark red and brown for the difficult times. A little turquoise and fuchsia for the wildly romantic times. You know why you took those vows to love each other through sickness and health, babies and teenagers, soccer games and weddings. Your love has deepened over the years into a good marriage. The colors of the tapestry blend to form a picture of the two of you, weaving a closer bond each year, even the years you didn't think you'd make it. You know what works and what doesn't. Marriages last because of a combination of humor, hard work, therapy, letting be, following separate paths at times, sharing common interests at others, learning to listen to each other, good sex, and mutual respect. Sometimes it feels like you've been married forever. Sometimes it seems like just a minute. What holds us together? What makes us want to stay married when things are really hard? What should we tell our daughters and sons to help them through the mysteries of marriage? And now I'd like to introduce you to the person who's made me happy all these years. And uh, I, his name is Earl. And here he is. Hello. Hello. Welcome to, welcome to my YouTube on Staying Young. What do you think keeps a marriage going? Well, I don't have any... Uh particular formula I can pass along to people, but I think the best thing to do is to marry a lively person like you. Thank you. Loads of charm, beauty, and good humor, and a general disposition to be happy, which is pretty much what you have. And I'm glad because I don't have that, but uh, you bring a lot of it to me. You put a lot of it in your book, and I think if people read your book, they might even get just a wee inkling as to how to do that for themselves. Thank you. Don't You're go welcome. away. I'm just going to say one more thing. Yes. And that is because I wanted to tell people what <clears throat> we do, to, one of the things we do to keep our marriage going and fresh is that we reserve every Friday for a date. And we may not go anywhere, but we reserve that Friday. And lots of times we go into New York and we go to one of our favorite restaurants for lunch. And then we go to a movie, usually a foreign movie. And uh, that's just one of the things. Anyway, I knew you'd love to meet my husband. And thank you again for watching.